All right, welcome back to the channel. We took a week off, guys, but um, today's video, we got the rapper uh, YBC Dole, and in this clip, this is when he was alive, so rest in peace to everybody involved in this situation. He's a rapper that pretty much went and dug up one of his ops' grave, his opposition. Got no fucking tombstone. I'm gonna his fucking dirt up. Hey, yo, where the fuck Kwani at, yo? Kwani, where the fuck you at? Ah! Um, and he ended up, you know, he's pretty much, he's out of here. Uh, he, what is it? He transitioned pretty much. No, not, I guess he didn't do it, but his ops made him transition pretty much. Uh, you can't kind of talk like that on a YT. But uh, just watch the clip. This was when he was, you know, alive. He was walking this earth, and he's pretty much saying how he was untouchable and everything. Yeah. I saw a documentary about you that said you're the most hated rapper in Philadelphia. Is that Cap? You know that ain't no fucking bluff. Does that make you upset at all, or you don't care? I like that shit. They hate me. That mean they like me, or they do something. Like, feel me? Like, they you're paying attention. Feel something. They, yeah, they paying attention, and I make them feel some type of way. So if I can make you feel some type of way, I'm going to keep making you feel some type of way. Bro, all the real niggas fuck with me. What Lil Dirk say at, this, uh, at the end of that song? Like, real niggas fuck with me. Like, the street niggas can vouch for me. Anywhere I go, nobody don't play with me. I never got robbed. I never got touched, shot at in the city, yet. All right, man. That's crazy. The fact that he said, yes. yet. He, he, he knew to put that yet on there. Yeah. Well, was that, this video is obviously, he. so that means he already dug up the grave then, right? I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. assuming no, he that did. Was, that, was, that was a minute ago. Oh, so he so he he did it a minute ago, but in Cause, that because even that that interview was probably shot like a week ago. Yeah, but I seen it had over one hundred fifty eight thousand views, and now you now you look like you're starting to get some traction. You're looking hot, and now you're pretty much you just made your city look like they can't touch you like you the man. Now now they tight. Now they got to get you. Bro did a whole video showing everywhere he go, where 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 he at, His location, what everything. time he be there, what what drugs he on. Like, man, I was just like, bro, this is just screaming, like, come and get me. Come and get me. And for those of you guys that don't know, he actually went and dug up one of it. You know, he dug up a grave and whatnot. And like you said in that clip, he went and showed up his whereabouts with that guy. He pretty much just, yeah, he pretty much, you airdrop your location, everybody. You let him know your, your day and uh, what you do. And In the video, he even said, he was like, uh, he was like, ain't nobody outside in my neighborhood. The only people outside is us. So it's like, bro. And now they know they ain't even got to, like, be careful who they aim at. Yeah. Like, did, it's did, just whoever outside is getting yeah, shot getting, at this point. Uh, so did he have, like, a gang with him in, in the video? Or yeah. Or like, just, like, him or a couple guys? He, like, went to three different sets. Like, he went to three different, like, like, like blocks. You yeah. know, met up with, like, the people there. He was cool with them. But even some of his ops, I mean, even some of the people he was with, when he was saying he was going to this spot or this spot, they was like, yeah, man, you know what? I, I got something to do. Like, I ain't going over there. Like, so people in the video yeah. that were with him tagged out. They was like, yo. Uh, they pretty much didn't want to roll with him. Bro, I ain't never seen grown man be like, yeah, I actually got something to do. Um, my kid's calling. Like, <laughs> <laughs> bro, He don't even got kids. Bro, like, I'm dead. Bro, people was leaving. They was like, Cause it, cause where you know, going? You going over there? I'm not going that yeah, way. Yeah, I ain't going that way, man. Because he's hot. You got a you got like a three four five star wanted level on you, and the ops are riding around the city. Probably worried that there's you got a bounty. Nobody wants to Bro, roll with you because there's gonna be bullets coming at you. They was doing warning shots blocks away. They was just they they was letting Bro know like these are coming closer. <laughs> I was like in the video you hear. Uh, wait, did they say that was that was in uh, Philly? Yeah, it's North Philly. Uh, no, it's it's crazy. In Philly, Born and man. raised. <laughs> I see why Will Smith left Philly, bro. Right. That's why he left Philly. It's dangerous. He slapped one dude and left. Yeah, he left. He's like, yo, this ain't even worth it. <laughs> then he went to slap Chris. Yeah. <laughs> now nah, we gotta leave Hollywood. Yeah. <laughs> nah, bro, uh, man. Nah, it's it's crazy, bro. It's crazy how like. YBC. I get it. Like you, you're stuck in the cycle, bro. Yeah. Like someone took one of yours. You take one of theirs. You take one of theirs. Like it just keeps going. But like, at what point do you have to show ownership of it? Like, okay. Like what happened to assassinations? Where like you do it and no one knows that you did it. Like, ah oh, man, it, th that's not how it goes in the rap world. Because a lot of these rappers. Okay, so I'm look. Okay, I'll answer your question. But I'm looking at his numbers, and he's doing 25,000 monthly um, streams on Spotify. And this is after he passed, so now he's actually probably getting way more views than what he was. So we, I mean, he's that means he had to have been doing under 20,000 because now you know his name's uh, buzzing because you know after you pass away, everybody's gonna look uh, look your name I, up. I think his YouTube numbers though, he was doing like millions <laughs> on YouTube prior. Yeah, yeah, that's weird. Like you would think that it, it would have transitioned. Me see. 
Cause oh, I'm pretty okay. I'm pretty sure some of his songs on YouTube. Oh, like that they were hot. Like, <coughs> so that means he started getting buzzed. Bro, bro had like a million on some of them. Oh, but was this before or after? Before, well, now we won't know. But okay, yeah, because yeah, you know, you look right. now, it'll just. Show but usually, us. it happens after because his numbers just aren't numbering. Uh, if you're usually hot on YouTube, you probably got some Spotify listeners, or maybe he just started, you know, getting a oh, buzz. Oh yeah, no, he was doing, he was doing like nine, nine hundred k, five hundred k. Oh, so okay, Th- three, three hundred k. How how many months ago was that? Does it does it say the nine hundred k video was one month ago? Oh, okay, okay. Hey, hey, so um, is is he? What kind of rapper is he? Is it like the? To me, he sounds like a Detroit rapper. But but is it like um, drill stuff? Yeah, no, nah, he talking okay. about like like the crimes he oh, okay, he okay. had done. So, pretty much all the dr- the okay. If you want to um, if you want a quick buzz, instead of you don't want to put in the legwork, you don't want to do like um, J Cole or you don't want to be like Drake, all those other guys, Kendrick, where you put in the time, you're touring, you're traveling, you could do the quick. Talk smack, a little, little dis op, and had yeah, them be op. had them be on IG numbers. live with you, and you yeah. just screaming at your phone. Yeah, n- numbers <laughs> up instantly because what? There's drama. People like drama, but once that drama ends, well, no, they know you're gonna die too. Yeah, so it's like one of the, it's like one of them things where like like they his fans called him Mister Disrespectful. Okay. Like they they started the whole like branding. Well, of, they branded him and he ran with it, and he and he ran with it, and he ran too far with it. I think that's what a lot of these young guys think. They think they're untouchable because when you're on a bunch of these drugs and you have people around you, they hyping you up. Just hyping like, you up. Because your numbers are looking good. You you think you're that. You think you're you're him. You think you're Mr. Untouchable, but you're not. Them um, likes is up on IG. Yeah. People, people giving you clout. Like, yeah, oh, yeah. man, bro, bro, crazy. Yeah, he's, he's crazy. Like, he in the him. streets. He really do it. They don't, they, don't, they don't pump your head up full of nothing. And now... You know, rest in peace. But they pump your head up for nothing, waiting, like yeah. waiting on the outcome. Like they, they know you're next. Like everybody sees the writing on the walls. Your homeboy seen it. They not even trying to roll with you. Like, hey, yo, I'm not going where you're going. Like you, nah, it ain't worth it. It was like, yeah, bro, it ain't. <laughs> like you're the rapper. Yeah, you're the rapper. I'm, yo, I'm, I'm out. When, I'm, when they pop me, it's just gonna be another. <laughs> yeah, no, not, not even a mention. It's just, it don't even matter. But honestly, man, this rap thing, uh, you, you even got like. Other artists coming in and, and saying like how how bad it's gotten. Uh, what was his name? Day, was it Daylight? Daylight sitting here saying, um, and, you know he's not a super known artist. I heard he, he wrote for Drake and a, a yeah, bunch no, of people. he he a known battle rapper, but like, yeah. he ain't no mainstream dude or nothing. He's not super, but I heard he he, he like writes like he yeah yeah no. But even when you got people like Daylight saying, hey man, this this rap stuff now, I don't know what happened to it, but all this drill stuff is just young boys dying. It ain't even rap, bro. It's just the culture in general. I don't think the culture was ever this bad. No, the culture was never this bad. But I'm I, saying, like, between rap influencing it yeah. and between the internet being able to see it and like glorify it, yeah, yeah, nah, it didn't got crazy. I'm honestly like, now I even think like this dude who just passed away. You know, when we're on social media, we just look at it as another story. But there's a mother, there's a sister, there's brothers, there's a father behind somewhere. Like, like they 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 just lost somebody. And it sucks because a lot of these record labels or whatever, they don't care. Like, you would think they would sit down and be like, hey, hey, young fella, let's move it this way. Like, let's not talk about that. But they know it's probably not going to sell. Nah, bro. They Look, the record label, to them, it's a check. Because it's like, all right, I sign you. You make all this music. I know you're going to die. I got life insurance on you. You got life insurance on yeah. It's like, all right, hey, it's a win-win for them. Because, like, when you're doing all that dissing, they're going to make money. When you die, they're going to make money. And somebody else is going to come and fill that spot because and do the same exact thing, the same exact thing. But you would think YouTube or somebody would be like, "Yo, we're not going to push this type of content," or we were we're going to suppress it. No, nah, like bro. they are young they men. They in bed dying. with them. They in bed with them. Man, that that's what sucks the most, the, man. The, the music label owners and execs, probably the dude of YouTube was a former, you know, music exec. Like, yeah, and it's like, well, we're getting rid of these dudes, so it don't really matter. And it's like people don't even care. And, and that's what hurts the most. I honestly try not to listen to that music anymore. It's just like, I don't want to support these young men, you know, like. Um, I mean, but it ain't even. And, bro, what's crazy in that Brandon Buckingham, like, the whole video, uh, one of the dudes he rocking with is like, yeah, man, you know, it's getting real gentrified over here. It's a bunch of white people moving back. And it's like, well, y'all killing each other, letting yeah. them move back. Yeah, bro. so if you guys are, um, yeah, if you're knocking each other off, 
they're gonna come back because there's less of you. Yeah, they got they they got some some rundown property they could buy and fix up. Yeah. Everybody dead. Like yep. hey, <laughs> yeah, they did one. <laughs> yeah, and then when that property value comes down. They're going to buy a whole bunch, and then you can't afford it, and now you're going to get moved out of wherever you're going. And then, look, then you're going to be banging in Lancaster, Pennsylvania or something. No, it's, I, I don't know, man. It's I don't know when it's going to end because you had Julio Fulio. There was some female. There's just a bunch of rappers, man. I it, Dang, man. It's Because, bro, they, they doing the wrong kind of rap, bro. You can't have all that negative energy around you and I, I, think I, something positive is going to come from it. Like I just think they don't ever think they're going to get touched, but there are people waiting for your downfall, especially when you start shining, too. Bro, like, people, the numbers? Like, think about it. Look, before you had ops, there were haters. There's always been haters. 100%. Yeah, so so it's like, now, oh, now you, you doing better now you created hater ops. <laughs> like, yeah, bro, like, oh, he, wait, how many views? How much money you got? 900. <laughs> oh, my God. But what's, what's even crazier is Do I have a 900 round clip? <laughs> oh, yeah. I want to give him a bullet for every view Get all the drums <laughs> Bro for real Like uh, The hate be real in some, in some people bro well, So it's it, like I mean when you're going back and forth Non-stop And this is what rap is When you got Drake and Kendrick Lamar Like you know Setting the, the, the tone And setting like Hey this is What's generating views The numbers Even though they're not gonna You know go at it like that But these young boys I mean, they, they probably understand. go at it in different ways. In different but. ways, yeah. Well, I mean, I'm going to hurt his pockets, but you're not really going to try to knock him off. Like, you're not. If you could, they. I feel like if, if they could, they probably would. Nah, but they're, they're smart enough to know that the cops is going to figure yeah, it out. Yeah, they're going to figure it out. It's going to come right back, back to you, bro. Yeah. It's coming back to you. They're not idiots. Like, hey, I'm going to try to mess his money up. I'm going to say hey, he likes, you know, little boys and girls, and they're going to mess your pockets up. Right, that's that's terrible. Like now you got this Look, reputation of this stain. Cancel on you. shows. Can, yeah, cancel <laughs> shows. Like they do little, they do petty things to hurt you, but they're not. It ain't gonna kill you at the end of the day. Yeah, nah, but R.I.P. Though, man. Yeah, rest in peace to them. Well, R.I.P. Everyone in that North Philly violence, because it's just I don't know, man. I wish I could say like I I wanted to stop, but I get it. No, like, you wanted to stop, but you know, like it it would take it, it would take from the uh, record labels, the execs, like big time rappers to literally come down and be like, hey, we're not, we're no longer gonna support this music anymore. But they're gonna be, uh, and then the rappers would be like, no, no, this is. I, mean, I think they still do it, bro, because... <laughs> They're going to do it no matter what. Because it's... It ain't... To me, it's not even about the music. It's about, like, you know, a, a brother, a family member, somebody was taken. So it's just like, you just you just keep getting revenge, and then yeah, it's a vicious cycle, and it never ends. So it's just... It, it, it's, it's just it, unfortunate that no one can turn the other yeah. cheek. But, like, I get it. That would be so hard to do. Like, if someone killed your brother, like, I... I, it, it is. I don't even think I would be able to, like, just be like, just I, let it go. Like I, I think it, it would be hard, but once you... I think once you have kids and, t like... To say, hey, I'm gonna get taken away from my child or whatever. Nah, bro. When I you see him walking free in the street, though. Nah, it's it's just hugging your. Uh, I don't know, just hugging your child from behind bars or having to do that. You gotta subside that anger. It's tough. Like it, if 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 he went to jail, like I could see myself moving on. Yeah. But if bro just like I yeah, see you, you at gonna, the grocery you, store, you, you're gonna be tight. You know what I'm saying? I'll see you at Walmart. I'm like, yeah, hey, bro, what? Yeah, you're gonna be tight. It don't matter. Anyways, man. Um, rest in peace to the two young. Um, the two young men. Uh, hopefully, you know the culture can do better. You know, highly unlikely. Too much money to a bill, billions of dollars. Is yeah, that's that's that man. But that's that's nasty.